Okay, in this sample we're going to learn how to take a part that was programmed on our 3-axis machine here and we're going to go ahead and move it over to a horizontal, put it on a tombstone and propagate it while maintaining all the toolpath. So just to show you what's going on here, if I go and run my simulation, so here we're starting off with the facing. From there we're going to go ahead and pocket that out. Finish the floor. We're going to tool change and we're going to finish the sidewalls. And then we're going to go ahead and do all of our chamfering. So, like that, our part's programmed. So, how do we put this onto a tombstone? Well, first, let's prepare our tombstone. So, I'm going to leave this saved for now. And I believe I already have the tombstone file open. In this case, I'm using just a make believe horizontal machine, but that's okay. Um, here I have a palette changing horizontal. So what we have here is we have a coordinate system here in the center. Now I'm going to say that I want four of these on here. Okay. So to do that, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to activate this coordinate system. And then I'm going to go ahead and create another coordinate system. All right. So this coordinate system is just going to be on a point right there. And I'm going to go ahead and add some dimensions here so that we can go ahead and shift this around if need be. Okay, so we're good there. I'm going to switch back to my cam file. And actually, I think I have my design file open. I'm going to shut that down real fast. Perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch to the cam file I want to duplicate into, and I'm going to tile my windows. Just to make selection easier, I'm going to activate that coordinate system. Now, quickly, I'm going to go here and make a coordinate system also. So I activate that document. I'm going to do coordinate system on a point right between that point there and this point there. Okay? And I'll turn the rendering back on so we can see that coordinate system. And let's activate that one too. The reason I'm doing that is because what we're going to do is we're going to go into the part pull down menu, go to propagation, part clamping and coordinate system to coordinate system. So tool shape to position, I'm going to go ahead and select my part. It's going to ask for the coordinate system origin, I'm going to grab that. Then it's going to, I'll say OK, and it's going to ask for the coordinate system destination, I'll give that OK as well. And now once so do I want to propagate. Now I can either propagate right now or I can do it after the fact. I'm going to propagate right now, why not? So I'm going to say uh, rectangular, the first direction I'm going to say is X. First total of distance I'm going to say is, uh, why not, 15 inches, twice this value, right? First total number is 2. And then I'm going to say, how about Y minus for, uh, how about 18 inches? And we'll say 3, just to be cute. Okay? Now, when it gets to merge parts, do I want to merge the operations 1, 2, 1, 2, or 1, 1, 1, 1? And what this basically means is, with the first one, I'm going to finish all operations with all tools one part at a time, or before tool changing, for example, let's talk about our facing. I'm going to do all the facings of all the parts first, and then tool change to the next operation. That sounds good to me. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to put this on Tombstone 1. Put the next part on Tombstone 1, next part on Tombstone 1, next part on Tombstone 1. Perfect. So if I maximize this now, I need to regenerate all my toolpath. But now if we look, we have propagated toolpath. But moreover, we have facing, 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 facing. So if we kind of run through this a little bit, it brought my tools with, my same speeds and feeds. So if we go ahead and in there. Moving over to there. The only thing, of course, you want to figure out is how you want to control the offsets on these. If you notice, there's the same work coordinate systems created for each of those. So if I hit escape, the only thing left to do would be to go to your list, select your part, and select your work offset that you want to use here. So here I'll use 54. Say OK. Here I'll use 55. Why not? and so forth. So on. Or if you're using extended offsets, you can use P1, P2, P3, P4. Okay?